the most news in the morning, 26 minutes past the hour right now. Since President Obama's election, legal experts have been tracking a huge increase, they say, in militia activity here in the U.S. with at least 100 new groups cropping up since January. We spoke with one group, and while some members will not show their faces, they are not afraid to talk about their mistrust of the government. And they are even more suspicious of the president. Our Jim Acosta is with us live for part one of an AM original series, Patriots or Extremists. So do these groups have a right to form, first of all? They absolutely do. Even their critics will admit that. And uh, we did contact nearly a dozen different militia groups across the country. And only one, the Southeast Michigan Volunteer Militia, allowed us to take our cameras to one of its training exercises. Armed with a small arsenal of semi-automatic weapons, the militia's leaders say they are simply defending their rights. Once a month, in the woods, 30 miles outside the nearest city, we're practicing target acquisition. Members of the Southeast Michigan Volunteer Militia meet for training. Is it getting bigger? Oh, absolutely. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Training for what depends on who you ask. But this militia member, who didn't want to give his last name, worries the government will eventually take away his gun rights. Well, any time we get a Democratic uh, president in the office, um, people become concerned, including myself, and we get a resurgence out here. Others just don't like President Obama. So you don't trust him? In short, I think he could be dangerous for the nation. Michael Lacamar sees the militia as a check against government overreach. Just the simple fact that we are out here and we are doing this will give somebody pause, will make them think twice. Because you're ready to defend your rights? Ultimately, yes. Down is fire. Right. And they're prepared to teach anyone, even this reporter, how to fire a semi-automatic weapon, like this Russian assault rifle. There you go. The members of this militia insist they are not enemies of the government. They say they just want to be prepared in case the government becomes the enemy. The truth is, is that these groups are popping up like mushrooms after a spring rain. Earlier this year, Mark Potok with the Southern Poverty Law Center put out a report warning of a surge in militia activity that came with the election of President Obama. Since that report was issued, Potok says his staff has counted 100 new militia groups across the country. There really is this kind of uh, terrible fear mixed with fury uh, about the idea that President Obama is somehow leading a kind of socialistic, uh, you know, takeover of America. This is not an, an Obama-centered organization. So we put this across his wound. But militia leader Lee Miracle says his group is different, teaching survival skills that might be needed after a natural disaster. Two at one, put your rifle back down. As a military veteran who's now a postal worker, Miracle urges respect for the president. As a postal worker, that's my boss. He's not going to mess with my boss. But, um, he's your boss? He's my boss, yeah. He's my boss. He should come out and, and have some barbecue with us. If he did, he'd find a movement that's not just gaining new members. How many of you are new to the militia? It's getting more worried. How many of you are worried about the Constitution right now? Worried as in the sense that it's not it's being going followed. away. <laughs> Besides the Second Amendment, those militia members could not specify which of their constitutional rights are being peeled away. And the Obama administration, we should mention, has not proposed any new gun control measures. It is unclear just how closely militias are being watched by federal authorities, the FBI and ATF. Both declined our requests for interviews. Johnny Karen. And when you take a look at at least the group you profiled there, there's no women and there's right. no minorities. Well, there's so one woman there. There was one woman? Okay, yeah. one woman and no minority. Yeah. So who are the people joining these groups? And I should mention more than just one woman. There was a 13 year old daughter there, and there's, there's a reason why I mentioned that. Uh, the gentleman that you saw towards the end of that piece, Lee Miracle, the leader of that militia, we're going to go home with him and his family to figure out just who is joining these militias, who are these folks. He includes his children in these activities, including his 13-year-old daughter who is firing a shotgun. I should mention better than myself out there on Militia you Day. You weren't too bad. And we'll have more of that tomorrow. All right. Right. Is, is it all about gun rights then? It, a lot, lot of it is about concerns. gun rights. A lot of it is about uh, distrust. They just don't trust this president. They think uh, he is out to peel back rights. And uh, right, the, they, the gun know, issue exactly is their big one. Other than gun rights. They, do, they do not. And, uh, you know, we should mention that uh, the gun control issue specifically is, is really unrealistic in many ways because 
the Obama administration knows and Democrats know that it would be political suicide for yeah. them to go after gun control measures. In fact, uh, the Attorney General has indicated just recently that he's not even going to go back to the mm -hmm. assault weapons ban that was enacted during the Clinton administration. Yeah, no so, for that in the Senate. Exactly. And right. it, it is interesting, though, that one of the guys in your piece said, we're doing this perhaps so that we're a deterrent you exactly. know, to, to, to having anything happen. They want to give people pause. All right. As they I, I'm very interested to meet the family tomorrow. You will. Thank, thanks, Great Jim. Great story, Jim. Okay. Thanks. You got it.